Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony Navier Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2014 64 plate Audi A3, 2 litre TDI Sport, finished off in a nice metallic silver. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we're using to prep for them in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car, and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back round to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel, starting at the near side front so the near side front wing looks in good condition near side front door looks good just got one small dent down at the bottom of the door as you can see there to be rectified by our dent doctor prior to sale the near side rear door and rear quarter look good as well near side front alloy looks in good condition with a light curve markings to the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale and the near side front tire has got a good five or six mil remaining moving down the near side now couple of very very light marks on that door there as you can see to be finally polished and touched up best we can and the dent to be rectified by our dent doctor near side rear alloy nice condition alloy again couple of light marks to the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale and the near side rear tire has got approximately five mil remaining looking back down the near side now from rear to front the near side rear quarter looks good both doors are good just that one dent and the near side front wing looks good Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, rear bumper's in good condition, a couple of light marks that you'd expect along the loading area, but nothing major, just one mark there as well to be polished up the best we can. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Rear screen looks in good condition with a factory uh, heated rear screen. And along the roof lining, looks in good condition as well. <clears throat> Looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front, Offside rear quarter looks good. Offside rear and offside front doors look good. And the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy looks a good condition alloy with only a couple of age related marks. And the offside rear tyre is nearly new with approximately 6mm remaining. Moving down the offside, all the panels look in good condition. One or two light marks on the offside wing just to be polished up and touched in. Offside front alloy, good condition alloy with just one or two light marks, so we'll have this one refurbished at the same time. And the offside front tyre has approximately four mil. Looking back down the offside of the car now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors look in good condition and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, we're gonna check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car looks in good condition couple of marks just on that near side there to be touched in and along the bottom of the splitter there very light scuff just there and to be fair got a bit of paint coming off just on that corner of the bumper so the offside corner of the bumper will be refinished at our body shop prior to sale final panel to look over is the bonnet as you can see paint work on the bonnet's in good condition there are no major dents or scratches but again as you'd expect for a car of this age of mileage got a few stone chips along the front to be polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi touch-up paint prior to sale. There's a couple of marks just to be polished up near at the back of the bonnet as well. So before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. As you can see, there are no major chips or cracks. We've got a couple of surface markings on the driver's side, but other than that, it looks in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. Decent sized boot on these A3s. You've got 60 40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics look in good condition, other than light wear and tear. Parcel shelf looks in good condition as well. And then all your plastics underneath the boot lid look in good condition too. Moving through now, rear door cars look in good condition. And there you have the rear cloth bench with three factory headrests, three three point seat belts, and ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Headlining throughout looks in good condition. Back to both front seats look good and the rear carpets look in good condition as well. Moving through the front, front door cars look good. Front carpets in good condition. They have the front cloth seats bolstered still firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, there's no traces of any odors at all. Passenger seat looks just as good, if not slightly better. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Looks to have been looked after. So we're gonna start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic child lock control, electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors, potential locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle, all the light controls just to the right of the steering wheel there. Moving across to the center console, we've got a fully adjustable cloth armrest, 
electronic parking brake, all the MMI controls in the centre that we'll run through in a moment. You've got the automatic S-Tronic transmission, two usable cup holders and 12 volt socket. Dual climate control, air conditioning, rear heated screen and recirculation. Stop, start, traction control. You've got the electronically controlled foldable screen. Just press the switch a bit quick there. As you can see, and we have the Audi drive select as well. So back over to the MMI unit. As you can see, we've got DAV radio and a few other options in media. We've got CD player and we've got Bluetooth audio and again, quite a few other options. Telephone prep, we've got no satellite navigation on this one. Back over to the driver's side, we've finished off with this leather bound multi-function steering wheel with the optional flappy paddles and this car's on 82,932 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.